10 Facts About Amelia Earhart Number 10 Amelia Earhart was an American pilot that disappeared over the Central Pacific Ocean near Howland Island with her co-pilot. Number 9 Earhart was the first female pilot to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean, and when she vanished, she was attempting to be the first woman to fly around the globe. Number 8 during Earhart's approach to Howland Island, the ship the Itzika received a strong signal from her, but it was clear that Amelia could not hear them responding to her. Number 7 She called asking for the ship's help getting her bearings and whistled into the microphone to help them home in on it, but the Itzika could not tune into her radio frequency. Number 6 at around 7.30, Amelia called them again, saying that she was running out of gas. She told them that she was flying at a thousand feet, but could not see them or hear them at all. Number 5 Because she could not hear them on the radio, they sent her Morse code. She acknowledged receiving them, but could not tell which direction it was coming from, as it was cloudy. Number 4 the last voice transmission received on Howland Island from Earhart indicated she was flying right over the island. The Itzika looked for her for hours, but the search was fruitless. Number 3 The official search efforts lasted until July 19, 1937, and cost around $4 million. Her husband, George Putnam, rented out two small boats and continued to search for his wife. Number 2 Amelia Earhart was declared legally dead on January 5th, 1939. Earhart and her co-pilot, Fred Noonan, were never found. Their disappearance has brought about many different theories. Number 1 Some believe that the pair crashed the plane around Howland Island and sank. Others believe that the pair landed and were captured by the Japanese on Marshall Island and were executed. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks everyone for 500 subscribers!